All right, so now that we're back at the baseline here, this is going to be one of the most helpful drills for getting that arc, that side spin on the ball based on how you visualize the shot. So we're gonna start here in our close stance in our serve stance here. And what we're gonna do is first visualize our contact point. So again, bounce the wrist just like so using that slight ulnar deviation in a relaxed grip and just get used to that feeling of swinging up and out to the right. So here, boom. From there, you're gonna to begin tossing the ball up from your pre-throw position. And from there, you're gonna get into your pre-throw position and begin tossing and serving. Now, what's an even better target than just cones is the jacket that I have there or any target that's over the net. When you start thinking about where the ball has to cross over the net, instead of just where the ball lands, you can begin to easily picture that arcing motion. So for now, I'm going to be aiming right toward that jacket and then landing anywhere between the yellow and the red cone. Let's give it a shot. All right, let me show you again. Here, boom. So what you can also do with these targets is use it as feedback. So what do I mean? Well, if I see myself serving too far out wide past the red cone there, that's a sign that you're tossing too far forward, too far to the left, or simply swinging forward too much. So instead, I focus on swinging out to the right, again, from eight o'clock to two o'clock, like so. Now, if you notice your ball is going too far to the right side, in other words, never crossing the yellow cone, that's usually a sign that you don't have enough side spin. So what we're gonna do is hit harder along the side of the ball so that you can start creating that arc and brush on the side. So to do this, we're gonna swing out to the right more aggressively with the edge of the racket, like so. Then as you get comfortable with that motion, you should see that the ball is going to repeatedly create that arcing effect between the two cones. And as you start to get comfortable with this motion, you could start adding in the launch as well as the backswing. 